Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I will share on how to answer electron transfer at a distance. Okay, this is SPM 2011, question number 6, section A. Diagram 6 shows the apparatus setup for an experiment to investigate electron transfer at a distance in a redox reaction. Okay, so as we can see, the uh, YouTube here uh, with two carbon electrodes. Okay with iron to sulfate solution and acidified potassium dichromate six solution. Okay, so one of the solution is oxidizing agent and um, iron to sulfate solution as reducing agent. Okay, so question A, state the color of iron to sulfate solution. We know that iron to ion will give green, green color. So the answer is green. Okay, when the circuit is completed, the galvanometer shows a deflection. Write the half equation for the reaction at x. So the x, okay, as we can see here, x immersed in iron to sulfate solution. So half equation for iron to ion, okay, is like this. This half equation is read as ion to ion release one electron to form ion three ion. Okay. Next step the type of reaction in 6B1. 6B1 huh? positive 2 or positive 2 oxidation number of ion to ion turns to positive 3. Increase in oxidation number. Release electrons. So, this indicates oxidation process. Next. Describe briefly a chemical test to identify the cation form in 6B1. The cation form is ion 3 ion. Okay, so whenever you want to describe a chemical test, you must include what? You must include a reagent, okay, method, and observation. Okay, so let's see. Okay, add, add is the method. You add sodium hydroxide or ammonia solution. Or you can also add potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution. You can also use potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution or potassium thiocyanate solution. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different solution you can use to identify iron 3 ion. Okay, so what is the observation? If you use sodium hydroxide or ammonia solution, you will get brown precipitate. And if potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution, you will get dark blue precipitate. And greenish brown solution for potassium hexacyanoferrate 3. And blood red solution if you use potassium thiocyanate solution. Okay. So let's see, uh, for example, you use sodium hydroxide. Okay, so add sodium hydroxide solution and brown precipitate is formed. Okay, that's the way to answer a chemical test. Next, complete the half equation. Chromate 6 ion, uh, convert to chromium ion. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we have chromate 6. So, how do we construct? If you are asked to construct the half equation, first you have to memorize the uh, chromate 6 ion Cr 2O72 minus. Okay. 
this is from it six ion convert to Convert, convert to chromium ion, Cr3 minus. Okay, you write these two ions first. Okay. And then next one is, uh, for the uh, right side, you don't have oxygen, right? Uh, at your left, you have oxygen. At your right, you don't have oxygen. Then you add water. Uh, for the side that don't have oxygen, you add water. Okay, now you have oxygen and the left side you don't have hydrogen. Then you add hydrogen ion. Okay, so you have all the element there. Uh, next is balance the number of atom for each element. So here chromium, we have two uh, chromium atoms. So write two chromium there. Okay. And then at left side, you have 7 oxygen. So you put 7, 7 at water here, 7. And then uh, your hydrogen now is 14. So you write 14 for the hydrogen ion. Okay, so all the number of elements uh, balance already. Uh, 2 chromium at left side, 2 chromium at right side uh, 7 oxygen at left side and 7 oxygen on your uh, right side 14 hydrogen at your left side and 14 hydrogen on your right side okay so now you balance the charge uh, here is negative 2 at your left uh, plus 14 okay your right 2 times positive 3. So it is positive 6. So here, positive 12. How do you uh, balance to form positive 6? You do what? You plus negative 6. Then it becomes equal. So negative 6 is actually you plus 6 electron there at your left side. Okay, so how do you complete the half equation? It is uh, 14 hydrogen ion, H plus hydrogen ion, 6 electron, 2 chromium ion, and 7 water molecule. Okay, next. Based on the answer in 6B1 and 6C1, on diagram 6, draw the arrow to show the direction of electron flow. Okay, so for ion to sulfate, we have half equation. Ion to ion, release one electron to form ion 3 ion. At Y, you have chromate 6 ion. Okay, turns to... Chromium ion, it uh, receives 6 electron. So, from this half equation, you know that ion to ion release release to, uh, release 1 electron. So, electron flow from electrode X to electrode Y. So, you just draw the arrow like this. Okay, one mark. Okay, next. Table 6 shows a list of apparatus and material. Uh, you are given porous port, beaker, connecting wires, galvanometer, carbon electrodes, bromine water, and potassium iodide solution. Draw one label diagram to show the apparatus setup to investigate electron transfer at a distance. The diagram must include the apparatus and materials given in table 6. Mark in the diagram the positive and negative terminals of the cell. Okay, so three marks provided for this question. So what you have to do is draw the diagram. Okay, so one mark for functional diagram. You use all the apparatus and material given. Okay. And uh, another one mark for the label with all this, uh, label of potassium 
iodide, carbon electrode, uh, porous spot, bromine water, and the label G here uh, for galvanometer. Okay, and another mark is positive and negative terminal. So, the negative terminal is electrode immersed in potassium iodide solution. And positive terminal is electrode immersed in bromine water. Okay, why? Because potassium iodide solution is reducing agent. Okay, so reducing agent will act as negative terminal. And bromine water is oxidizing agent. Electrode immersed in oxidizing agent will act as positive terminal. Okay. Okay, so that's all. Hope this video can help you to understand more on electron transfer at a distance. Bye.